expensive and valuable Harry Potter spin-off series, Fantastic Beasts, opened to a disappointing box office when the third movie came out. This situation left many fans worried about the franchise's future. And here's everything you need to know about the Fantastic Beast 4 movie, and whether it's happening or not. When the Fantastic Beast movie franchise was first revealed, it was announced that there was a plan to create five movies. The original Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them film was very well received by critics and audiences. The same thing can be said about the second one, Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, and there were only two years between the movie's releases. But the third movie was met not as good as expected. Fantastic Beast: The Secret of Dumbledore ended up with a disappointing $376 million worldwide box office. Now, according to multiple sources, Warner Bros. allegedly, seriously, thinking about continuing the production of the next movie or not, and many fans are afraid that it would mean the end of the Harry Potter spinoff. There's also information that David Yates, the director and one of the core architects of the Wizarding World on the big screen, wants to take a little break from the Fantastic Beast franchise. It was recently reported by Deadline that David wants an original project, and he discusses it with Sony. We don't know for sure how exactly it will affect the fourth film's production, but it looks like the director decided to switch his attention to something else because Warner Bros. had informed him that there was going to be a break between Fantastic Beasts 3 and Part 4 anyway. We hope this break will only mean the improvement of the fourth movie, because they understand that the audience is less interested in their movies. Does it mean curtains for the struggling series? At least for the near future? We can't say for sure, because any information hasn't been officially confirmed whether the production will be continued or not. The only thing that is clear is that the series is extremely expensive for Warner Bros. But there's not only the money problem. Johnny Depp was dramatically fired from his role of Grindelwald. Screenwriter-producer J.K. Rowling was highly criticized for her statements about the transgender community. And actor Ezra Miller was also involved in a series of public controversies. All of these situations led to dwindling fan interest, and it literally predicted the movie's failure. However, Jeff Goldstein, Warner Bros. domestic distribution head, said that Fantastic Beasts was just a piece of the wizarding world, and that in general, the studio is okay with the box office. He said, While the numbers for Secrets of Dumbledore were lower than the previous films, we still think the series has done its job keeping wizarding world fresh in people's minds and we're pleased with the revenue we've seen from the franchise at theme parks, stores, and other products and experiences. So, does it mean we should expect the fourth movie? Well, the chance is huge. Before the release of the third film, Variety reported that WB wants to wait and see if Secrets of Dumbledore would succeed before making a call on the two other movies that were planned to be released. Even though the third film was met with better reviews than previous films, the box office was far from significant. Now, The Secrets of Dumbledore is the lowest grossing movie in the entire Harry Potter franchise, but there's still hope to see the fourth movie. However, producer David Heyman said in February 2022 that production on the fourth film script had yet to begin. Whether it happens or not, fans already have their theories on how exactly Fantastic Beast 4 and 5 will end. The Secrets of Dumbledore end up with pretty much closed doors for the major plot points, meaning there has to be a new plot twist. The main point we figure out is that Credence is a Dumbledore and that Albus and Aberforth's sister, Ariana, was an obscurial like Credence. Another thing that also changes is that Dumbledore and Grindelwald's blood pact no longer makes sense. So what happens next? Let's ask J.K. Rowling. According to the writer, the Fantastic Beast movies will cover 19 years of Wizarding World history, and the last scene should take place in 1945, with Dumbledore defeating Grindelwald. But this is also a year when Tom Riddle, aka Voldemort, graduated from Hogwarts, and it gives a feeling that we will witness the final battle between Dumbledore and his former friend. Analyzing the Fantastic Beast books, we can definitely say that the directors can do whatever they want with the fourth and fifth film plots, and they can go up to take a closer look at Newt's life or dance around the Queenie and Jacob's marriage. It is really difficult to say what exactly we should expect from the new movie, if it happens. And if you have your own theories, let us know in the comment section down below. We will go down in history together as we remake this world.
As you already understand, there's no official information regarding the cast of the fourth movie, but the fact that all characters from the third movie made it till the end, we have a reason to think that we will see all of them back. The fans hope to see the entire cast in the new movie, and we think it would be great if Eddie Redmayne will return as Newt Scamander, Jude Law as Albus Dumbledore, and Alison Sudol as Queenie Goldstein, Callum Turner as Theseus Scamander, and others. As for Mads Mikkelsen as Gellert Grindelwald, there were discussions when he first replaced Johnny Depp, but for now, it looks like the fans are fine with the new face of Grindelwald. As for Ezra Miller's character, Credence Barebone, it is difficult to predict his future as in the third movie, it was confirmed that he was a Dumbledore and it was also revealed that he was slowly dying as a result of the obscurious inside him. At the very end of the movie, Aberforth takes him back home and there's a big chance that he will just die off screen and we won't see Ezra Miller's return. It is also difficult to comment on whether Catherine Waterston's Tina Goldstein will make an appearance in a new movie because unlike the first two movies, in the third one she had a really small cameo which makes us think he won't show up again. Plus, it was reported that she's now the head of the American Horror Office, which is keeping her very busy. But we also know that Newt and Tina will end up getting married, so it is difficult to predict if she actually returns for the fourth movie, or if we will see her only in the fifth. Unfortunately, there's no answer to this question, but we can speculate. The Secrets of Dumbledore hit the theaters only in April 2022, after several delays that were caused by COVID and many other factors. So it took almost four years after the sequel. Before the pandemic, many fans and critics assumed the fourth and fifth movies would arrive in November 2022 and November 2024, as the first two movies were released in November with two years between them. But we already understand that it won't be happening, since we don't even know if the fourth movie will be created or not. Let's imagine the film will be produced, and we will likely have to wait until November 2024 at the earliest. So let's be real and accept that we will have to wait for the new Fantastic Beast movie at least until mid to late 2025. Speaking of the Fantastic Beast 5, it is even more difficult to predict when it might be released, but we will probably know this information only after the release of the fourth movie. Do you think Fantastic Beast 4 will happen anytime soon? If you have any ideas regarding the plot of the upcoming movie, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.